Uh, it is drive time, uh, 52 minutes past six. Uh, one of East London's last Art Deco cinema buildings is to be knocked down and replaced by a supermarket. Lovely. Uh, the 80-year-old Towers Cinema building in Hornchurch uh, High Street uh, will be bulldozed, and this is despite local opposition. Uh, hundreds of residents, in fact, uh, petitioned uh, Havering's councillors to protect the cinema and allow the Everyman Cinema chain the chance to rescue it. But despite the opposition, the building is to be demolished to make way for a little store. I'm joined by Hayley Johnson. She led the campaign to keep the Towers building intact. Hayley, this is actually really disappointing. I'm meant to be an impartial BBC journalist, but Art Deco buildings are disappearing fast and they are beautiful. And there aren't many left. No, there aren't. Yeah. I know. I, I, I'm, meant, I'm meant to be impartial here, but you know what? You know, little can go anywhere. Art Deco yeah. can't. Yeah, exactly. And we have a little, literally one and a half miles away. Um, and we have three other Sainsbury's, well, a Sainsbury's in Iceland and an international supermarket within half a mile. So as a town, we don't really require another little. Um, what we would like is to keep a little bit of our history of our town. Um, obviously, the Towers building means so much to so many. Um, I just think it's very sad because the people that it means the most to, those that have got held the most memories of it, mm. haven't really had a voice because they're not online to do so. And it's been an online campaign from both sides. You know, the character um, of London is really being ripped out at the moment, isn't it? There's so much development yeah. uh, going on. I'm not too sure if I'm a huge fan of Nine Elms in Battersea at the moment as well. I know it was a bit of a dump in that area before, but sometimes, you know, new buildings, supermarkets, it, one place just starts to look like another after a while. And exactly. I, 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 I have to admit, I don't, yeah, I don't visit Hornchurch High Street often, but w when I've been there... The, the, the cinema there is striking. Um, it, it, there is yeah. something about it. It does need a, you know, a bit of money spending on it, and maybe that's the problem. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's where the, 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 the problem lies, Hayley, that you um, know, it's it, not cheap. It's only been empty since November, so it's, it's not that great a feat. Everyman Cinema took on uh, Art Deco former cinema in Bristol, which had been derelict for 17 years, so it's, it's not beyond their reach. To, to bring it back and to, you know, make it a usable community asset, which is what we all wanted. Um, it is disappointing. It is sad. There's over a 1,000 people now on the Save the Towers Building uh, Facebook page, which I run, and they're all feeling the same. And they're all local people, or I'd say majority are local people, so little aren't appeasing to who are potentially meant to be their future customers. Mm. Well, you know, in all fairness to Lidl, then you know they're not necessarily knocking the whole thing down. No, um, they are. Well, they're well. That's not what they're saying. They're saying they're going to retain uh, the towers lettering, and they're going yes, to repay the public art installation in in store. I mean, I, 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 I yeah. think I know the answer to that. Um, is that yeah. a fair compromise? Not really. No, nobody's really happy about that. I mean, you'd think you'd think somebody would say, "Oh, you know, that's great. They're keeping the towers lettering," but they're they're not. They're not, the council on the 30th of June asked them to, to keep the facade. They asked them to try and go away and keep the facade. So 10 out of the 11 councillors that voted said either keep, we want the building as a whole or at least for you to work with the facade. And we came back to the meeting last Thursday. Little had no interest in even looking into the cost of keeping facade. Mm. And that's what they put forward, basically, an artistic impression of T-O-W-E-R-S on the floor outside a glass brock. I suppose the, the, the one the one silver lining to the cloud for you is, you know, it is going to create a lot of jobs, Lidl. You know, 40 jobs uh, in the as, area. As would a new cinema. Really? 40? 40 jobs well, in a cinema? Come on, Hayley. Well... <laughs> Come on. OK, but we have a lot of cinemas. You say it's going to create jobs. Our other cinemas, our other... Sorry, we have a lot of supermarkets. Our other supermarkets going to go under because of the new competition. There's international supermarket is literally the next building of, along. You know, potentially, are they going to last the test of time? So there's jobs that are being lost. You and should be a, a politician, a you should be, Hayley. You've got an answer <laughs> a, for everything. A building that was empty for about two and a half years after Waitrose didn't succeed in that building, yeah. which is where we international supermarket We can't is be there. sure of that. I think, I think you know, oh, no, but that, we can't yeah, be sure of that. We can't be sure no, of that. No, that's the case for the international supermarket. Waitrose went there with a 25-year lease and they lasted a year and a half. One, you know, um, one shop as Lidl is another, is another shop as Sainsbury's, isn't it? I oh, mean, completely. You know, it, you know, they're not in the same ballpark. No. I'm not comparing Waitrose and Lidl. Yeah. I'm just saying... In, they went and that building, that building where International Supermarket are today mm. was empty for two and a half years. 
I think it so, is a shame that they can't at least. I don't think you're going to win this battle now, but I, I, no, I, you I know, know, it is a bit of a David v. Goliath battle, but. And you can kind of see, you know, why the local authorities have gone with Lidl because it is going to improve, um, you know, some job opportunities there, and and you know, it does solve an awful lot of problems. But it, at the same time, one does find it hard to understand why they can't just retain some of the building's character, just a little bit more than than the lettering. Maybe that's your next fight, Haley. Actually, with well, Lidl, to say, I, look, I would I would have been happy with that if yeah. they had worked with the facade. Um, I heard on the grapevine that if they'd worked with the existing building, they don't get the VAT back, which is oh. £1.35 million. Right. It's a lot of money. But I looked online last night, and if they was just to ma maintain the facade, they could probably get the VAT down to just 5%. Go and have another so, chat with them, Hayley, and let us know how you get on. <laughs> I, I, I tell you what, yeah. I, I, I think, you know, they're taking on a challenge with you. Go, go and give it another go. Hayley, we've got to leave it there. Have a wonderful weekend, and thanks uh, from me and all the Drive Time team to our listeners for choosing BBC Radio London tonight.